going to show you how to get several domains and point them to the same website. To get a domain, um, that is yourname.com or .co.uk or .org, you need to go to a domain name registrar like GoDaddy or in this case, Fast Hosts. So I have three domains here on Fast Hosts. So I go into Domain Names and under My Domains, here is the domains that have just been purchased. In order to get them to point at a website, you need to change their name servers. And to do that, you should look for the name servers or update DNS records in this case. So if you click on that there, um, what you want to do is to change the name servers. This is more advanced DNS where you change the C name record or the MX record for email. This is for when you want to um, divert the email to one server and the website to another server. But we want it all under the same roof, so we'll just change the name servers here. And here is where you do it. I'm going to put this on VidaHost. When you sign up for a hosting package, they will send you the name servers and the information to put in here. And so you go update name server details and that's all you need to do. That may take a few hours uh, for it to percolate through the system, but that domain now is now pointed at that host. So all you need to do is to go up and set a, a website at the host. So we've done that for these three domains. Now all we need to do is set up the website and uh, get the, all the domains pointing to the same website. And we do that by going into cPanel of the host. As, uh, as I mentioned, the host is called Vida Host, but you could use any sort of host to do this. And a lot of hosts use cPanel. And this particular package I've bought from VidaHost, they have cPanel and something called WHM, or Web Host Manager. Down in the bottom here of cPanel, you have Web Host Manager. You click on that, and that takes you into Web Host Manager. Now, this is where you set up the domain on your server. So what you do here is under account functions, create new account, put in the domain and you've got to make up a user, username and password. So I've put in the information there. The only thing I'd say is to put an email address that isn't the same as the domain because that is the email address that the host will contact you if there's anything wrong with the website. And if there's anything wrong with the website, there's probably something wrong with the email as well. So you should keep that different. Down here it says DNS settings and it gives you the DNS settings that I referred to earlier when we were at the domain name registrar which was called fast hosts so that's all you really need to do so we just go create there and there you have it and now if you have a look at the domain we find that it has its own space on the internet and now we can put anything there and it will show up this now has its own cPanel Google puts up that thing it's nothing to worry about put in the username and password that you just um, you created when you created the account on WHM and there is the cPanel for the new website you've just created. We can just quickly put something up here. If we go into file manager, you're in public underscore HTML so any files you put in here will show up on the website. So if we just quickly make one here, new file, call it index.html and uh, we just put something in it quickly hello and save that and now if you go to the domain there is your message so you've set up a new website now now we're going to point the other two domains at this this same website so one of the ways you can do that is to go in back into web hopes manager create a new account for these two and add a redirection um, in there for it so same as last time, enter your details in and press create. And that's done now. And so you go into the cPanel of that site. I have to wait a bit. But later when you try it, it'll go through to the cPanel. If you, again, enter the username and password that you specified in the web host manager. And now you're here, you can redirect this one through the cPanel. To your other site. 
redirect with and without www. So now you've done that, let's see if that redirects. Yeah, that goes back to the hello site. So that's a long-winded way of doing it, but a quicker way of doing it would be to go into Web Host Manager and here and uh, here you press modify account go into the um, main one and make sure you have park domains on unlimited here so save that then if you go into the C panel of that one and park domains you can add a park domain here and then if you go back into park domains and under the new park domain that you just added um, it's not redirected yet so you manage redirection and you redirect it to the website you want it to go to you'll see it redirects to the original website so I hope you enjoyed that there's two ways of redirecting one domain to another you can either create a new domain and then forward it to another domain or you can just a little bit quicker in through cPanel you can add a park domain onto a domain that you already have but in all of these cases you need to remember to change the domain name servers to the correct ones for your host. Thank you very much. Bye.